So I've had a ton of theories about the lore of the Castlevania series that I've come up with over the years, from the plausible hypothesis to the overly stretched speculation. And this, this is definitely one of my dumbest. How, from a lore standpoint, do the candles in Castlevania drop hearts, which are then used for sub-weapon energy by heroes? I know what you're thinking. Nobody cares. It's just a game mechanic. Don't overthink it. And yet I have crafted a theory as to how this works. Come, join me on this utterly ridiculous journey. You see, it's said often enough in the Castlevania games that Dracula steals the souls of men when he kills them or otherwise enslaves them to his will. Given the amount of skeletons, zombies, and straight-up dead bodies you see littered around the many incarnations of his castle, you have to imagine that Dracula has killed hundreds, if not thousands, of people with each incarnation. That's a lot of souls. What does he do with them all? You could say he uses them for his own power, but I don't think that's it, as he already drains their blood and most of their life force. What if he uses the souls of his slain victims to light the hundreds of candles in his castle? There's plenty of folklore about how the ghosts and the souls of the deceased sometimes hang around graveyards as glowing lights or orbs. Orb. And surely, the candles in Dracula's castle are supernatural in origin, as I can't imagine you have skeletons just relighting them every time a strong breeze comes through the castle. What if this is how Dracula enslaves the souls of so many victims, to keep his hellish abode lit for eternity? Sounds at least semi-plausible, right? Well, what if when a Belmont or other hero whips those candles and frees those souls, said souls leave a little bit of their remaining life force behind for the hero to use as magical fuel for their sub-weapons? Might sound like some pretty gnarly speculation, but again, it makes about as much sense as a tainted human soul powering up the Belmont's heirloom whip to kill vampires, right? Those candles leave a bit of their human soul essence behind in the form of a heart for the Belmonts and others to use to fight against Dracula and his minions, and give the poor individual a tiny smidge of revenge for their cursed fate. Is this conjecture? Yep. Is it silly and adds approximately nothing to the story of the Castlevania games? Absolutely! But then again, it's the stupid little questions like these that are fun in their absurdity and keep my love of the series going. Hopefully it does for you too. Just don't ask me how to explain how the candles sometimes drop money bags from a lore standpoint because I am still working on that one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more Castlevania weirdness.